Okay, man, you know, being an independent artist, uh, what, what do you think are like the pros and cons from being independent or being on a major label? If you want a major, the pros are that you just get to be strictly in artist mode and you just get to wear that one hat as an artist. Basically, all you got to focus on is, you know, um, being creative, how you dress, how you perform, just artists. If you're independent, you got to focus on everything else. Before we came here, I just had a meeting about tour with my whole team. I just had a meeting about how we could sell these hard copy CDs to chart on Billboard. I just had a meet. You know what I mean? It's like I'm CEO, artist. I, I play I play both sides when it comes to, you know, I mean, I, I, I cover all bases when it comes to doing this independent shit. You really got to, you got to be built for it tough. You got to really understand this grind and go get after it. I mean, being around Jadakiss, I, I mean, you know, I'm sure you learn a lot from him. Of course. I learned the most from him. Because, I mean, you know, I know he, I'm pretty sure he's been, you know, independent and, you know, on majors. So he could probably, you know what I'm saying? Nah, he knows the whole game. He's seen people rise and fall. You know, he's been in this shit 30, so it's nothing that he hasn't seen. He don't get too impressed when a rapper blows up. He don't get too impressed by a lot of shit. It took me, I kept looking for my validation from Kiss. For fucking years. I wanted it before I had earned it. You know, I kept looking like, damn, you're not proud of me. And it, to him, it was like nothing. It was to the point where I started making Billboard and then selling hard tickets. Now he's kind of like, all right, now let's, you know, sit down and we could we could really talk about some shit. You feel me? Um, so, yeah, he's he's dope in that way because he he really understands like the game. Man, so grinding all the way up, you know what I'm saying, getting Jay to kiss where he's like actually seeing the grind and and seeing it, you know, uh, how did that feel? Amazing, man. I felt amazing for real. At what point did you realize like, oh, okay, Jay to kiss is actually, you know what I'm saying, like he's seeing this and it's starting to change? Um... He started sharing more game with me as I as I attained certain levels, as I got to certain levels, he let me in on more game that I really didn't need to know when I wasn't on those levels. If that makes sense, because now he could talk to me from more of a level. I'm kind of trying to get to where, you know, I'm still trying to get to where he was at when he was on Bad Boy. So. But as I climb those stairs, he lets me in on more knowledge that I need to know. Because this shit is like kind of a secret society, you know? It's like, you got it, like, you can't really give that information to somebody who, who won't be able to understand it. Growing up, you know, in Massachusetts, do you think it's easier or do you think it's harder to kind of grow up there and rap? Is it easier to make it out? Because you kind of have a little less competition than a place, say, like Fuck New York. Fuck no, or it's harder. Harder. Okay. Hell yeah. Look, if you're from California, people already put it down for California. People already put it down for New York, for Chicago, for Philly, um, for St. Louis. For If you're from any of those places where somebody kicked the door already and showed the world what your city or state is about, you got it a little bit easier. Just a little bit easier than being from a place where nobody kicked the door down and showed them what the fuck is going on. Because the public already, the second they hear a rapper from Brooklyn, you know, they got this mindset of what Brooklyn is. So they're like, all right, I could get into this. Whereas like if you hear a, a artist from Nebraska, they really got to paint vividly about the trenches in Nebraska and show you the differences in Nebraska or the differences in Massachusetts, the trenches and the struggles that you go through in a place that's never been heard of for real in rap. Understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. So being that is, you know what I'm saying, people don't really know, you know, what's the scene like over there? Is there a lot of rappers, a little bit of rappers? A lot of rappers. We, we doing good. We got, um, you know, I call it the Massachusetts scene. I like how you refer to it as Massachusetts. A lot of people would say the Boston scene Boston is within Massachusetts, um, and they have their own scene in Boston. 
I love a lot of the rappers out there, you know. Um, I love a lot of the rappers out there. You know, Free Eyes, 7981 Cal, G Fredo, you feel me? But there, there's so many from, you know, Y Jizzle, 8 Zip, King Bricks. Man, I'm a, I'm gonna forget a lot of people and people's gonna be mad at me, but it's a, it's a lot of rappers in the trenches that go crazy. Jigs, you know, on my side, G Nipsey, da 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 da. There's so many rappers going crazy, and then we also got you know in the Massachusetts scene we got Joyner Lucas and Bia, and um, Token and a few, and Cousin Stiz and, and and a few others, you know. But it's like it's like hundreds of great artists. I feel like we just need somebody to really kick the door. They got a little hate problem out there, but. You know, that's nothing we can't overcome. Now, you mentioned almost signing with Shoddy and Treyway. What happened with that? Shoddy's my man. Shoddy, I, I got around Shoddy, and, you know, he's somebody who really gave me uh, confidence and uh, put the battery in my back. Like, Shoddy's somebody who gets around you and he just tells everybody in the room, yo, this is a star and shit like that. So at the time, you know, at, at the time, his label, what he was doing was so hot that we started thinking, damn, we could merge this with the So Raspy imprint and kind of have it like the legendary cosign and this new guy, the guy who did the wrong thing. You know what I mean? But this was prior to that. So that was our whole thing. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll do that and we'll make it happen. But uh, it, it didn't go like that. He got picked up by the feds and shit. Well, man, I see you out there grinding, man. You know what I'm saying? I just, shit, it's, it's, it's good shit, man. I like that new song with Jadakiss too, man. Thank you, bro, for sure. Yeah, for sure, man. Shit, I appreciate you taking the time. Nah, I appreciate you. All right, Millies. Take care, bro. Love. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.